So, anyway, hello. Uh, magandang hapon. Good afternoon. It's not, it's no longer snowing outside. Because of the uh, um, good report on that tocino, on how to make a chicken tocino, now I'm gonna show you another chicken recipe. Um, what is the difference? Ano ang kakaiba ng pagbibideo ko sa mga pagluluto? Well, guys, I'm teaching you how to cook in practical ways. Make a curry chicken. Yon ang gagawin ko. So, the first step is you can use any part of the chicken para mag-curry. Doesn't matter kahit pa chicken wings yan. Para sa mga very health conscious, you can use the chicken breast. But when you use the chicken breast, para hindi siya magiging matigas pag maluluto. Ang nangyayari kasi sa, sa chicken breast kasi eh, the longer you cook the chicken breast, it becomes more ano, yung parang uh, matigas or very chewy. And so, if you are using chicken breast, you need your pounder. Ito yung sinasabi ko na you can use this pounder to pound the chicken breast. Parang sa ganon as lalambot. Or if you don't have this, you can use the back of your knife. So, see? My knife. Uh, I'm actually using a Hampton knife. It's very good. It's very light to the hand. Ito yung santoko ng Hampton. It's, I, I really like this, this brand of knife. So, um, what we're gonna do first is I always wash my meat with either vinegar or salt. So, ang ginagawa ko is I rub the chicken with salt para matanggal kung ano man ang mga dapat matanggal. And so, you see the excess fat, I can remove that. Okay, so, this, this is what I'm gonna do. Before even cutting up the meat, I will wash it first with salt. Ang dami-dami kong lulutuhin because I have my friend here with me. Her name is Janine and I'm pretty sure she want to take home some um, chicken curry later on. Promise you, hindi magiging baba ko ang chicken curry ko because we are going to modify it from Alam mo yung orig original Indian recipe, we're going to modify it para sa ganun hindi siya masyado mabako. Okay, so now we have our chicken here. Okay, we have a chicken. So what I normally do is, again, I love using my sea salt coarse and I will just pour in a lot of salt into your chicken. Hindi kasi natin nakikita kung paano nila kinakata ito, kung saan nila kinakata, you know. This is just for aesthetic purposes. Using, of course, salt. And then what I do is like, I will just rub it like this. And then I will go to the water and wash it. Okay, as simple as that. So, just wash your chicken for salt. You can even like, after you do this, you can put water Tapos, ima-iyan mo lang, iwan mo lang doon ng couple of minutes. Okay, guys. Please don't be bored. We'll come back when this is washed and drained. And I will show you um, to cut and marinate and get ready for our special, very simple chicken curry. Stand by. Okay, we're back. So, Pagkatapos po natin na-rub ng salt ang ating chicken, now I'm gonna use my very good knife, uh, Hampton. I, I'm telling you, Hampton is not paying me, but I just love using this knife. Um, matagal na hindi siya madadal. Yung sharpness niya is nagtatagal. And it, it's really very light to the hand, but it's, actually, but it's really very good. So, what I'm gonna do, I have this quarter thighs. Why am I using quarter thighs? It's because it's what's available in Aldi's when I went to buy it. All right, okay. So I'm gonna cut them because I want to make sure now. See how how easy is that? I will just go through the bone connections. I'm using this knife. It is. Oh look, see that that part. And of course, for the health conscious, then you can. Ayano, tanggal tanggal na yung mga fats. So tinatanggal natin yung mga fats. 
itong quarter so probably I will just do this like three parts okay see you just have to find the connection of the bones para hindi mas uh, hindi mag madaling magdal yung knife nyo there you go so I have three depends on size here keep taking up the fats that you don't like ayaw mo nang masyadong very fatty pag uh, gagawa ka ng uh, ng chicken curry. It's it's different from yung cuisine na ginawa natin the other day. But when you're doing chicken curry, you don't like, you know, too fat. Again, like I said, you can use chicken breast or you can use thighs or any part of the chicken that you you or it is available. And the good thing about uh sa pagluluto ko is I will not ask you guys to find ingredients na mahirap hanapin or it's not seasonal, that it is too expensive, no. I learned the way how the Chinese people do to use what you have in the house and to use what is seasonal. That way, mas makakamura ka. Okay? So, um, I'll cut this again one more time. I will, again, I will find the connection para lang sa ganun. Hindi, hindi ko anuin yung buto, hindi ko ma-chat-chat yung buto. This is really a very good knife. Okay. But if you want, you can use the chicken thigh, man sa ganon, dalawang best nyo lang cut. It's up to you how, how many cuts you want to do. Alright, one more and uh, I will show you how to mar- I want to marinate first yung chicken ko. Kasi kung nasa Pilipinas tayo, you know, honest Honestly, mas malasa ang ating mga chicken doon. But over here, hindi siya masyado malasa. I don't know. For some reason, it's not. So, what we do, even, for example, bumili ka ng chicken. You don't have time to cook today. You can do what I'm showing to you now. And then, after you marinate your chicken, you put them in a freezer bag you put them in the freezer and when you have time to cook or any time you want to cook all you need to do is to take it out of the freezer defrost uh, it and then you can cook and yung lasa ng whatever condiments na ilalagay mo to your chicken is talagang nakasuot na siya sa meat ng chicken mo or flesh ng chicken mo anyway so I love to use my garlic. I marinate first. You know, again, it depends on how much you like your garlic. If you really like your garlic, then you can use more. If you don't like your garlic, then use like probably just a couple. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, they did that right. I'll put it in here. And with these three thighs, I probably just use a half teaspoon of pepper. Mm -hmm. And a little bit of salt, probably another half teaspoon of salt. And soy sauce. I like to use our own Philippine product. I love dato puti. Again, dato puti is not paying me. And I buy big ones. Kasi mas makakatipid ako. Mas nakakatipid ako. And also, I don't have to keep running out. Tapos, I have to go again to the store and buy. So, I'll just buy a big one. And trust me, mas nakakatipid. So, what I do with this one, I will prob I'll probably put like, probably like a two, teas two tablespoon of soy sauce. Right there. And, if you have lemon, lemon po ang gamitin nyo. Okay, you use lemon or um, if you don't have a lemon, you see the lemon pepper. Lemon pepper. You can use this. Kasi magiging sour din siya. Or just a little bit of vinegar. With the lemon pepper, I probably will just going to use with this amount, I will just going to use a teaspoon of the lemon pepper. Just a teaspoon of a lemon pepper. Okay, so what you're gonna do, makikita nyo siya, hindi siya masyadong wet. Hindi siya matubig, I mean, kasi konti lang yung sauces na nilagay natin. And, there you go. 
So what you're gonna do before cooking it, i-marinate muna natin ito probably ng an hour. Let's marinate it for an hour para yung uh, yung condiments will like really go into the into the into the flesh. And then we come back. Again, if you don't want to cook it now, as soon as you you do this, you put your marinade in, whatever you want. You can put whatever you want. Then you put it in a freezer bag. Put it in your freezer and anytime you want to cook, it's ready. And I promise you, this is what I learned from my African friends. This is what they do. They buy bulk of meat. Isang buong kamping and then they have it chopped and then they were just gonna put condiments in the meat and then they marinate them and then put them in the ziploc bag and then put them in the freezer so anytime they want to cook it's already ready and their food is like really savory from all the condiments that they put okay ladies and gentlemen so we will go into the back and i will show you how to cook chicken curry bye for now